بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آو یو آئی ہوپ یو بی فائن دس از کیمبرج پرائمری میتھمیٹکس لرنرس بک سکس اینڈ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ وتھ چیپٹر نمبر تھری ایوریجز سو وی ہیو لرنٹ اباؤٹ ایوریجز ان گریٹ فائیو ایز ویل سم تھنگ ریلیٹڈ ٹو ایوریجز اینڈ ناؤ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈو لاٹ مور کویشچن ریلیٹڈ ٹو ایٹ سو واچ دا ویڈیو ٹل دی اینڈ ڈو ناٹ اسکپ دا ویڈیو ایوریج از بیسیکلی ٹیلس از اباؤٹ دی موسٹ کامن ڈیٹا آؤٹ آف دا گیون سیٹ آف ڈیٹا اوکے سو ٹو فائنڈ آؤٹ دیٹ واٹ وڈ بی دا موسٹ کامن ڈیٹا اور واٹ وڈ بی دا مڈل ویلیو سو فار دس وی یوز تھری ٹائپ آف ایوریجز وچ انکلوڈس مین میڈین اینڈ ماڈ سو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لرن اباؤٹ ایچ آف دم اسٹیپ بائی اسٹیپ سو لیٹس اسٹارٹ وتھ کویشچن نمبر ون آف ایکسرسائز تھری پوائنٹ ون آن پیج نمبر فورٹی وچ سیز رائٹ دی ماڈس اینڈ میڈین آف ایچ سیٹ آف میجرس so we are provided with some measurements as you can see on the screen but what do we have to do we have to calculate the mod so first of all let us understand that what is mod mod is very easy you can uh, uh, memorize it by most repeated value mod is most repeated m and d most repeated m for most d for repeated value so if we have let's say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 6 6 uh, uh, measurements in this set we will see that which of the six measurements are getting repeated and how many times so if we look at four and five both four and five are repeating twice so the mods here are four centimeters and five centimeters okay so we can have more than one mod as well but six and seven are only ones so they couldn't be mod and if Uh, we could have four thrice four toy five toys and six and seven ones only then four would be the uh, mod then in the next set of data we have 51 47 51 53 59 59 59 again you will find that two of the numbers are getting repeated 51 and 59 so 51 and 59 are the mods then in part c 1.2 1.8 1.1 1 2.1 1.2 1.2 is repeating then 1.8 is again repeating 1.6 and 1.4 so mod would be 1.2 and 1.8 because these two numbers are getting repeated then 101 106 95 105 102 102, 102. so 102 is repeating twice so this will be the mod and then 97 and 101 so 101 is also repeating so 101 and 102 are the mods now let's talk about how to calculate the median to calculate the median students we have to rearrange the data in the ascending order uh, so you can see that although in part a it's already in the ascending order 4 4 5 5 6 7 okay it's starting from the smallest and going to the greatest so we don't need to uh, rearrange it but we are going to find out that what is the middle value how can we figure out since there are only six numbers so the two numbers in the middle would be the middle value because 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 out of the six numbers two comes here two comes here so there are two numbers in the middle if there will be would be an odd number uh, of set of data then there will be the middle number uh, the middle value would be only one but if there are like six numbers eight numbers ten numbers that is an even set of data we will have two middle values so in this case what are we going to do we will take the two middle values add them find out their uh, average and then we will find out their median So out of these six numbers, first of all, we will figure out that these two numbers are middle value. Or you can find the middle value as well using the formula. How can you find the middle value? You will uh, calculate the number of uh, set of data. That is how many numbers are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. you will add 1 into it and then divide it with 2 okay this formula can be used to find out the middle value so from here we will get 7 upon 2 that is 3.5 3.5 means third and fourth values are the middle one so where is the third one this is the third one this is the fourth one so 5 and 5 are the middle values so what would be the median if we will have two numbers in the middle value then the median would be their average their mean so we will add these two and then divide it by two so it gives us five as the answer it means the median is equals to two over here what was the mod it was four but the median is sorry it's five 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 the median is five now let's talk about the second one where we had 51 47 51 53 59 and 59 again we have six numbers in this row so it means the uh, two uh, middle values would be the median so what are we going to do we will rearrange it first starting from the smallest 47 then comes 51 each then comes 53 and then 59 59 
so the middle value over here would be again the third and the fourth value how we are going to find out the median we will add them up 51 plus 53 and divide it with 2 so 51 plus 53 is equals to 104 divided by 2 is equals to 52 so the median over here is 52 it depends on how many values do we have and what is the middle value so sometimes the median won't belong to the actual values you see we do not have any 52 in this set of data still we are getting 52 as the median in the next one we have 1.2 1.8 1.1 2.1 1.5 1.8, 1 1.6 and 1.4. How many numbers are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Again, we have an even set of data. So again, we are going to rearrange it as per the numbers. So it would be 1.1 comes first and then 1.2, 1.2, then 1.4, 1.6, 1.8, 1.8. So it would be 1.4, 1.6, 1.8 1.8 and then comes 2.1 2.1 is the largest of all these eight numbers so what would be the middle value now the middle value would be 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 this these two would be the middle value and you can check it that is if you are going to add 8 with 1 you are going to get 9 9 upon 2 is equals to um, 4.5 it means fourth and fifth value would be the middle value this is the fourth value this is the fifth value so what would be the median it's very simple you are simply going to add 1.4 with 1.6 and then divide it by 2. So upon adding, we are going to get 3 divided by 2, which equals 1.5. It means the median is 1.5. Again, you can see that 1.5 does not belong to this set of data. It's still, 1.5 is their median. Okay. So it doesn't matter that what number are we going to get in the median. Next, we have 101, 106, 95. 105, 102, 102, 97, and 101. How many numbers are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Again, we have 8 numbers in this set of data. So again, there will be 2 middle values. So we are going to rearrange them in the ascending order. 95 is the first one. 95, then 97. Then comes 101, 101. Okay, then we have 102, 102. Then we have 105 and 106. Okay, rearranging them is very important. So, if there are 8 numbers, the 4th and the 5th value would be the middle one. Right? So, what are we going to do? We will take both of them and find out their mean. So, the median would be 101 plus 102 upon 2. So, 101 plus 102 is equal to 203 upon 2 and their median would be their average would be 101.5 so in this case the median would be in decimals and that's completely fine now calculating the mean you have already learned it in detail in grade 5 you just have to take all the numbers the set of data add them up and then you have to divide it with number of data that is what are we going to do we will take 5 6 and 7 add them up and then we will divide it with the set of numbers that is 1, 2, 3. How many numbers are there? We will divide it with 3. Similarly, we will take 9 plus 9 plus 2 plus 8. And there are 4 numbers, so we will divide it by 4. Similarly, 10 and 12. So there are only 2 numbers, we will divide it by 2. And for the next one, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we will divide it by 5. That's all. This is how we are going to find out the average this is one of the sort of the average okay students so let's calculate it for the first one it would be 5 plus 6 plus 7 is equals to 18 upon 3 is equals to 6 then 9 plus 9 plus 2 plus 8 is equals to 9 plus 9 18 18 plus 2 28 upon 4 is equals to 7 10 plus 12 is 22 upon 2 is equals to 11 and 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 uh, plus 6 is uh, 2 plus 4 is 10 2 plus 3 plus 5 is again 10 so it's 20 upon 5 is equals to 4 that's all you see how easy it is to calculate the mod and the mean and uh, calculating the median is involves some steps so when you will practice a lot then it becomes also easier for you
Let's do question number three the same way on page number 41. It says, which of these bowlers has the highest mean bowling uh, square after six games? So some of the bowlers are given here and there are four players. They are uh, uh, playing bowling and they have scored. They have played six different games and out of the six games, their scores are altogether different. We have to find out that which bowler has the highest mean. For this, what are we going to do? We will take every bowler and... Uh, Add up all their scores, then divide it by six because there are six games, six matches. So we the to, uh, total number of data would be six for each of the bowlers. So what are we going to do? We will simply add 95, 108, 99, 120, 95, 101 for player one divided by six. The same thing we are going to do for player B, for player C, for player D, and then we will divide it all of them by six, and then we will figure out that which of them is getting the highest score. So when we added the scores of player 1 for the 6 matches, we got 618, we divided it with 6 and got 103 as the main. And then for player B, we got 750 total and for player D, we are also getting the same. That is the total score of the 6 games of player B and player D are the same, that is 750. So their average is also same. Although you can see that the scores for player B are all altogether different, 109, 130, 124. And for player D, it's either very low, that is 98 or then 154. 160 so there is a huge difference between their scores on on in, 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 in on an individual capacity but when we total them up when we sum up sum them up so we are getting the same answers and for player c we are getting the highest score that is the total of six matches is 894 so the average we are getting is 149 the highest of all so it means the highest mean for player c we are getting so it means uh, that the highest mean is of player c now in part b they are saying player b and d both have the same mean bowling score they are telling us that's what we have already calculated which do you think is the better player write a sentence to convince your partner that b or d is better use information from the table in the in your sentence so what we can say that although both of them are getting the same score as the total but if we look at player b 109 130 124 111 145 131 and on the other hand player d is getting either so low uh, score that is 98 or 154 then 160 then 91 then 129 then 118 so player b is playing consistent he seems to be consistent he is ha having an average score of uh, 125 that satisfies the situation that satisfies the actual situation that is 109 is one uh, close to 125 130 124 all these scores are very much close to its mean but whereas the mean of player d is not very close to all of his scores sometimes it's 98 sometimes it's 154 sometimes it's 160 sometimes it's 91 so i think in this is my personal opinion that player b has a better score and he is a better player because he is scoring on a consistent basis okay students so we have completed till question number three inshallah we are going to do question number four and onwards in the next video until then take care do subscribe to my channel if you are new and don't forget to uh, uh, share it with your friends take care allah hafiz